day everyone. Maraming salamat muli sa Diyos sa panibagong pagkakataong meron tayo para muli makapag-discuss ng panibagong topic. We have here vector analysis. So what are the content of this uh, topic? So isa-isa natin. What is the topic outline? So the first one, we, we have here the vector in scalar. The second one is the properties of vector. The third one, the laws of vector algebra. The fourth one is the components of a vector. The fifth one, fifth one is the dot product. And the last one is the cross product. So ano ba yung matututunan natin dito sa ating vector analysis after natin matapos to? Let us go to the learning objectives. So after we discuss, kung matapos natin yung topic, ito yung ating matututunan. So the first one, we can differentiate between vector and scalar quantities. The second one, we can define the properties of vectors. The, th the third one, we will be able to define the laws of vector algebra. The fourth one, we can solve the dot product of vectors. And the last one, we can solve the cross product of vectors. Okay? So let us proceed. What is the vector and scalar? So, discuss natin tong dalawa. Ano ba yung difference between the vector and scalar? So, a vector is a quantity having both magnitude and direction. Example dito, yung displacement, force, and acceleration. Another representation of a vector is the arrow. So, tingnan natin. A vector can represent by an arrow which define the direction and the length which indicates the magnitude. So, ito yung ating arrow. Okay? So, this arrow, pwede natin itong basahin as the vector because vector can represent by this arrow. So, if I'm going to read this one, this arrow is a vector A. Or, I can... Uh, simply also read this one as vector A with an arrow dun sa taas niya. Or, if you put the indication of this arrow, kasi itong tail nito, this tail, yung origin, yan yung initial point. So I will put that one as point O, or the origin ng ating arrow. This is the initial point. How about the head? Of the arrow, tinatawag naman siyang terminal point. O, lagyan natin ng P. O, so meaning, this vector can represent by this arrow, pwede natin siyang uh, basahin as the, the vector OP, or vector A, or vector A with an arrow dun sa upper portion niya, dun sa cup, okay? May cup siya. So, ano ba yung meron dito sa... Uh, Dito sa arrow na to. Sa arrow na to, meron siyang direction. Okay? So, ano ba yung direction niya? Of course, we have a four dimension. Meron tayong north, meron tayong south, meron tayong west, at meron tayong east. So, depende kung ano yung angle o kung, kung nasa x-axis ba siya, nasa y-axis ba, ba siya, yung direction ng ating vector or simply itong arrow na to. Okay? So, about the magnitude. Magnitude, yan naman yung length. Kung baga, yung, from, yung, yung distance sa ito from uh, point O up to dito sa ating pinakahit. Yung length nito, yan din yung magnitude nung vector mo or ng arrow mo. Okay? Oh, this is clear. That is the vector. So, how about the scalar? Ano ba yung scalar naman? A scalar is a quantity having magnitude. But no direction. So, ibig sabihin, meron lang siyang length, meron lang siyang mass, meron siyang distance, meron siyang speed or temperature, pero wala siyang direction. Okay? So, therefore, ang scalar, madaling i-define or i-differentiate sa vector kasi ang vector, meron siyang magnitude siya ka direction. Samantala yung scalar mo, may magnitude lang siya. Wala siyang direction. Okay? So next, 
Punta tayo sa properties of vectors. So, ano ba yung meron dito sa ating properties of vectors? So, una, equal vectors. Consider we have vectors A and B. These vectors are equal if they have the same magnitude and direction regardless of the position of their initial points. So, itong dalawang vectors na to, vector A and vector B, equal siya as long as yung magnitude niya tapos yung direction niya ay parehas. Okay? Parehas yung magnitude and direction. Regardless kung siya siya nagmula, kung saan yung initial points niya. Okay? As long as the same value ng magnitude tapos pat pati yung direction niya, considered as equal yung dalawa na yun. Okay? So, the next one. Ano pa ba? So, we have here the negative of a vector. A vector with a direction opposite. Yan. To that of a vector A, but having the same magnitude is denoted by negative A or yung negative vector mo. So, ito yon. So, according dito sa ating definition ng negative uh, vector, yung direction lang naman niya ang mababago. Meaning, if you have vector A, get the opposite of that, but the same magnitude, ano, the same magnitude, that vector is the negative vector of your original vector A. So, opposite direction niya, ang kakalabasan ng vector mo will be the negative vector of your original vector A. Okay? So, next, co-initial vectors. Two or more vectors with same initial point. So, merong dalawa o tatlo o may git pa na vectors na isa lang yung kanilang initial point. Ano yon? Ito yon. So, we have three vectors here. Vector A, vector, vector B, and vector C. Yung kanilang initial point nasa point 0. O I mean point O. So, isa lang yung origin nung kanilang tail. Yung kanilang pinagalingan. Okay? So, that is a initial vectors. Next. We have here the collinear vectors, two or more vectors parallel to the same line irrespective of their magnitude and direction. Ibig sabihin nito, regardless kung ano yung magnitude and direction niya, basta parallel siya, parallel. Ibig sabihin, parallel yung ito, A, itong, itong vector A, tapos yung negative vector niya, at tapos yung vector B, same. Kung baga, yung angle niya dito, let's say, meron kang 30 degrees dito, 30 degrees dito, 30 degrees dito. Then, that two or more vectors are parallel, tinatawag siyang collinear vectors. Okay? So, naintindihan natin kung ano yung mga uh, vectors. Okay? Ano pa ba yung sunod? Next one, vector A and vector B has a sum or resultant C formed by placing the initial point B on the terminal point A and then joining the point, uh, initial point of A to the terminal point of B, the sum is denoted as C. Or yung C, that is the sum of A plus B. Ito naman yung representation ng kanyang arrows. So if we have vector A and B, so, yung sum ng dalawa or the resultant, ito na yung mga kalabasan niya. Okay? So, we have, sabi nga dito, yung, yung tail mo ng B, idudugtong mo dun sa head or dun sa terminal point ng A. Then, from the tail or from the terminal point of A, connect mo yung arrows dun to the uh, terminal point of B, then that is your new vector or the sum i mean the sum of these two vector which is represented by the the variable c okay so next the difference of vectors a and b is denoted by a minus b it can also be denoted as a plus yung sign ng uh, yung negative vector mo which is negative b if a is equal to B, then A minus B is defined as another vector or zero, of course, 
Pag equal yung A and B mo, then opposite direction yung uh, B mo, or negative, pag i-add mo yan, magiging zero siya. Okay, ang tinatawagin natin yan as a zero vector or a non-null vector. The last one. The product of a vector A by any scalar M is a vector M multiplied by A. Kaya nga product, okay? So, just A multiplied by M is simply equals to M A or A M. And your M, yung small letter M, it represent yung scalar mo. It, me it means that yung scalar mo, wala siyang direction. Meron lang siyang magnitude. But yung vector mo has a magnitude and a direction. Okay? Puto tayo ngayon sa uh, subtopic number 3. The loss of vector algebra. So, ano ba yung meron dito sa loss of vector of algebra? So, sa isa natin, number 1, a, the vector a plus b is also the same as b plus a. Tinatawag yan na commutative law of addition. Sunod, a plus, uh, a plus b plus c or yung sine, kumbaga sineparate yung b plus c, it, same lang naman yan kung yung a plus b ang separate a plus b then plus c tinatawag naman siyang associative law of addition okay next one yung sinabi ko na kanina m a is equal to a m commutative law of multiplication the fourth one m and a or simply ito yung dalawang scalar mo then yung n a sinaparate lang naman siya ng parenthesis, meaning uh, ibang term to, multiplied by M, the same as multiply mo lang naman yung M and M multiplied by A, and that is associate, uh, associative law of multiplication. The fourth one, uh, I mean the fifth one, if we have scalar M plus A multiplied by the vector A, so i-distribute mo, mo lang yung A dun sa, uh, sa scalar M and A, then we have here, m multiplied by a and the scalar n multiplied by the vector a. That is the distributive law. Okay? And the last one, yung laws of vector algebra, if we have a scalar multiplied by the two, uh, the sum of two vectors, a plus b, you can distribute yung ating m dun sa loob. So, m a plus m a, m b. So, this is m b. Sorry. So, I will change this one. Just, uh, Put this one as B, okay? So, this one is B. M, A plus M, B. This is the distributed distributed law of vectors natin. Okay? So, then, the number 4 subtopic. Puto tayo ngayon dito sa ating components of vectors. Dito, meron ng mga solution tayong gagawin. So, the components of a vectors. So, ano ba yung components of a vectors? So, Rectangular unit vectors, ito yung una. It represent yung rectangular, rectangular unit vectors mo ng AX, AY, and AZ. Tandaan to ano? Rectangular unit vectors. So yung AX mo, AY mo, and AZ mo, that is a rectangular unit vectors. So, are important set of vectors having the same direction of positive x, y, and z of the three-dimensional rectangular system? Ito yun. Okay? So, we have here 3D doon sa ating rectangular system. So, yung ating AX, okay, plot muna natin yung ating tatlong axis. We have this one is the x-axis, this one is the y-axis, the upper one is the uh, z-axis. You can rotate this one. Okay? Pwede yung balik rin mo. So, yung y pwede yung dalin dun sa taas. Yung z will be going to this direction and x will be this direction. Okay? But, just the same. So, as long as you indicate this, what is the x-axis, what is the y-axis, and what is the z-axis. That is the three-dimensional rectangular system. So, here, as per this figure, our rectangular unit vectors, which is yung ax mo, Ito yung AX mo. Okay? Andito naman yung AY mo. Andun naman yung AZ mo. So, ano ba yung AX, AZ, AY, and AZ? 
And then, that is the unit vectors. Because that is, uh, mahalaga kasi itong tatlo na to. So, mamaya, mas maintindihan natin, ano ba yung unit vectors na yan. So, kung meron tayong arrow from this origin up to this uh, point, okay? So, that vector, that vector is the vector A, this vector, and this three dimension can be represented as, oh, ito na. So, ito na yung vec this vector A that is equals to A1, AX1 plus A2 multiplied by A1 plus A3 multiplied by AZ. So, this vector A, okay, this vector A that is equivalent to this rectangular components of vectors. Ito kasi, ito yung rectangular components of vector. Ito na. The vectors, which is this one, are called rectangular components of vectors. So, ano ba yung A mo? Ano, what is your A1, I mean? What is your A1? What is your A2? What is your A3? So, yung A1 mo, A2 mo, and A3 mo, that is the point. Yung A1 mo, it represent yung point mo dun sa x-axis. Yung A2 mo, that is the point. Or the distance, represent mo naman dun sa y-axis. Yung A3 mo naman, that is the point. Or the distance, that represent dun sa z-axis mo. So, bakit may multiply ito? Or what, ano ba yung principle behind that a vector A is equals to A1 multiplied by AX plus A2 multiplied by AY plus A3 multiplied by AZ. So, ito yon. The sum or the resultant of this rectangular components of a vector is yung sinabi ko na kanina, this one. Ito yung sum, ano? So, yung sum or resultant, the same as the vector A, which is yun yung sum nitong ating components of a vectors. Rectangular components of a vectors. Okay? So, A, yung A natin, which is our vector, yung magnitude nun, the magnitude of vector A is this. Kung 2D ang pag-uusapan natin, kung 2D, galing yan doon sa Pythagorean theorem. Okay? I think, uh, yung 2D, I hope na nadaanan nyo na yung 2D nitong vectors or simply yung doon sa trigonometry natin, yung trigonometry on how to use yung Pythagorean theorem, yun yung uh, principle na ginamit. Same as here. So, the distance from this point to this point, okay, let's say I, I, have, I put point is, uh, O up to P, OP, or simply yung vector A mo, yung magnitude mo nitong vector A mo, or the distance, or the length, I mean, the length of this vector, since the magnitude ang pinag-usapan, magnitudes, ibig sabihin, ang distance ng vector, or ang length ng vector A mo is equals to this, the square root of the sum of the square of A1 plus A2 plus A3, yung square ng lahat ng point mo, which is kukunin mo yan dito sa formula. Okay? A1, A2, A3. Sinabi ko kanina, that is the uh, distance or the point from x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. So, let us illustrate. Okay? Mas maganda illustrate natin to para sa madaling maintindihan. So, illustration. If we have here a vector A, 2A, 2AX plus 2AY, plus 4AZ. How to illustrate this vector A? Or simply the sum of the resultant of the uh, rectangular components mo. Okay? Tandaan, ito is only the rectangular components, this one. Rectangular components. Pag in mo na yan, in mo na sila lahat, sum na siya or resultant of your rectangular components, which is your vector A. So let us illustrate now. So we have here the given vector. So let us illustrate. Let us plot. Okay, ito yung ating three-dimensional rectangular system. So, same. Kinopy ko lang yung uh, axis natin dito para hindi tayo malito. So, we have x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. 
Ito na yung mahalaga. Yung ax mo, since that is a unit, unit vector, nasa x-axis siya. Yung ay mo, that is the unit vector, rectangular unit vector along the y, and also az mo, that is along yung ating uh, z-axis. Ano ba yung tatlo na yun? So, tingnan natin. Okay? So, I will plot first yung A1 mo, yung A2 mo, at tapos yung A3 mo. Since 2, that is your A1, which is the distance or the point along the x-axis, ito na yun, 2. Okay? 1, 2. So, from origin, from 0, meron kang distance sa 1 and 2. Okay? Doon sa x-axis. Then, Yung 3 mo naman, which is along y-axis naman siya, so meron kang 3. Dito naman ipa-plot mo yan sa y-axis mo. So we have 1, 2, 3. Yan. And number 4, or the value of a3 is 4, along z-axis naman siya. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So from these points, gagawa ka ng uh, rectangular box or gagawa ka ng kagaya nito. Okay? So, ng 3D mo. Ng solid 3D mo. Okay? So, tingnan natin. So, I put here yung ating 3-dimensional rectangular system. The present yung ating uh, vector which is this one. Okay? Lagyan mo ng shadow doon at ilagay mo yung uh, vector mo from here to, the, to here. So, yan. Yan ang vector natin. So, ito na yung uh, representation nung ating vector A which is equal to 2AX plus 3AY plus 4AY. Ito yung vector na yun. Okay? So, puli na intindihan itong illustration kung paano ba i-plot yung ating uh, vector A. So, how, how, ano ba yung consideration mo dito sa 2A, itong AX, itong AY, tapos AZ? Ito yun. May simple explanation ako ibibigay. So, if we have natural number, yung repeated addition mo ng 1. So, let's say meron kang 2. Diba? Ang 2, that is the same as 1 plus 1. Or simply, since may dalawang ang 1 doon, so mag, magkakaroon ka ng 2 times 1. Kasi dalawa yung 1 mo. Kaya 2 times 1. Okay? Yung 3 mo naman, meron kang 1 plus 1 plus 1. So, we have 3, 3 times 1. Okay? The 4 is meron kang 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So, meaning meron kang 4 times 1. So, and so and so forth. Up to, let's say, meron kang 55, meron kang 1, 1, 1, meron 55 times. That is that is equivalent or equals to 5 times 1. Tama? So, itong 1, 1, 1 muna yan, that is the unit. Uh, or, simply equivalent yan, yung representation nito, nung ating unit vector. So, itong x, ax mo, az mo, ay mo, that is your unit. Ito yung 1. Kaya nga unit ano? Kung baga, ito yung 1 mo. Diba? So, 2 times 1, so, ang value mo is 2 pa rin naman. Diba? 3 times 1. Ito yung y mo is 1. So, lahat ng yan is 1. So, the same as 2, 3, and 4. It represent lang of the axis. Tinatawag siyang rectangular unit vector. So, yung ax mo, ay mo, and az mo, it is the same as a unit or 1. If I'm going to compare or illustrate this one dun sa ating natural numbers. So, lagi siyang may multiplier na one, di ba? Or, dinicompose siya. Ano, yan. Yung mas magandang term. Dinicompose. Kung baga, you decompose yung 2 mo, kaya naging 2 times 1. You decompose 3, kaya naging 3 times 1. Same as this one. You decompose yung 2, tapos yung, yung together with your axis, x mo, kaya nagkaroon kang 2ax. Dinicompose mo yung 3, saka yung y-axis mo, kaya meron kang 3 o oh, ay, which is uh, 1 yung, ano, yung equivalent unit niya. Same as yung 4az. So hopefully, na yung nag-get sa yung aking ibig sabihin dito sa uh, rectangular unit vectors. So, meron tayong formulang susunod dito, okay? So, in determining the magnitude of a vector, meron tayong formula which is came from dun sa ating uh, Pythagorean theorem in solving for the vector A. Okay. Next. Unit vector tayo. Unit vector is a vector having a unit magnitude. Consider 
the vector a as a vector n. Okay, ito na yun. Pag nilagyan mo yun ng dalawang vertical, okay? Dalawang vertical lines yung ating vector, it represent na as the magnitude of the vector. So, pag may makita ka ng ganyan, so, wag kayong malilito dun sa uh, determinants, okay? So, nasa vector analysis na tayo. So, this is not the same as the determinants, which is meron tayong two vertical lines din. Since nasa vector analysis na tayo, yung two vertical lines ito, ang ibig sabihin nun is you will need to determine the magnitude of the vector. Okay? So, thus, yung value ng unit vector mo, ito yon The vector, original vector divided by the magnitude of your the original vector. Or simply, your vector A divided by the magnitude of your vector A. Hope this is clear, okay? Is a unit vector having the same direction as A? Okay? So we have example here that we will solve dun sa ating components of a vector. So let us now uh, solve these three sets of example. So solve ko muna yung example number one. Find the unit vector of this given. Hanapin natin yung unit vector. So ibig sabihin, ito yung formula ang gagamitin natin. A divided by the magnitude of the vector A. So, ang given is 3ax plus 2ay minus 3az. So, let us start. Tuloy-tuloy na natin tong uh, hanggang example number 2 and example number 3. I will solve this one in other, in other sheets. Let us solve example number 1 under the components of a vector. We have here, find the unit vector of this given vector A, which is equal to 3AX plus 2AY subtracted by 3AZ. So the formula that we will go, that we are going to use is from the unit vector, of course, that is the unknown here. So the formula, the vector A divided by the magnitude of that vector, or simply yung vector A natin. Ano ba yung value nun? Okay? So tandaan, if unit vector yan, if you will, if you are going to consider as a uh, unit vector, Kailangan mong i-double check yun. Ang dapat natin makuha ditong value ng magnitude must be equals to 1. Kasi unit vector na siya. Diba? So, ang magnitude dito dapat mag-value siya ng 1. So, kailangan natin i-check after we solve for this A over or divided by the magnitude of the original given vector. So, let us find now the magnitude. Kasi yun lang naman ang nawawala dito. We have the original given of the vector A, 3AX plus 2AY minus 3AZ. So, only the unknown here, doon sa ating formula na gagamitin, is the magnitude. So, hanapin natin what is the magnitude. Okay? So, before we find the magnitude, yes, uh, hanapin natin what is the value of A1, A2, and A3. So, so ko na, isa-isa. So, what is the value of our A1? A1 here is equivalent to the numerical coefficient of your uh, rectangular unit vector, which is AX. So, 3. Okay? We have 3. A2. That is equals to positive 2. A3. That is equivalent to negative 3. Then, ipalit mo na lang dito sa ating formula of the magnitude of the vector. So, this is now equals to the magnitude of the vector A is equivalent to the square root of A1 squared, which is equal to 3. 3 squared plus your A2 is 2. 2 squared plus A3 is negative 3. So, A3 squared. So, this is now equals to, so we have the square root of, we have here 9 plus, this is 4 plus 9. So, the, vet, the magnitude of the vector A, this is equals to the square root of 22, right? So, meron tayong square root na 22 ng value ng magnitude of A, ipalit natin ito doon sa ating formula para mahanap natin yung unit vector. 
So let now start. So, so A. So what is A? So, isulit ko muna yung formula. So, here we have A divided by the magnitude of A. This is equivalent to what is the value of our A? A here is equal to 3 AX plus 2 ito, AY subtracted by 3 AZ and all divided by yung magnitude mo na nakuha which is equal to the square root of 22. Yeah. Simplify this, multiply, uh, irrationalize natin. So, multiply natin both numerator and denominator by the square root of 22. Simplify natin yung ating uh, fraction. So, this is equals to. So, ang sagot natin dito is equals to. So, 3ax multiply the square root of 22 is 3, simply equals to. Tuloy-tuloy ko na. 3 times the square root of 22. And this multiply this by ax over okay, 22. Square root of 22 times square root of 22 is uh, simply equivalent to 22. Diba? So, separate ko na. So, 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by the square root of 22. Multiplied by ay. And this is divided by the square root of or simply 22. Diba? Square root of 22 again multiplied by 20. Square root of 22 is simply equals to 22. Then this is subtracted by 3. The square root of 22 multiplied by az. And this is divided by the, the square root or simply 22. Then simplify further. So this is equals to. Okay. So ito okay na to. So hindi natin to simplify. This is. 3 multiplied by 22 AX. But the middle term, we can simplify. Divided by 22 plus. So, meron tayong 2. Meron tayong 22. So, 11 na lang matitira sa denominator. So, the square root of 22 multiplied this by AY. And this is over 11. So, subtracted by 3 multiplied uh, by the square root of 22. And multiplied by AZ. AZ and this is over 22. This is now our unit of a vector. Ito na yung sagot ano. But we need to check this one. If this is really uh, equivalent to 1 or the magnitude of this. Pag mag, ang magnitude dito is mag, uh, mag equals to 1, therefore this value of unit vector is tama. Okay? Tatama siya. So, i-check natin. So, how to check? Just find the value of the magnitude of this. So, hanapin mo yung magnitude nito. Erase ko lang. So, we have here the magnitude of the unit vector. Yan. Kunin mo yung magnitude niya. This is to check, ano, to check natin siya. Dapat equivalent to sa 1. Kung hindi mag 1, may mali tayo sa ating solution. Okay? So, pag mag 1 siya, tamang-tama yung nakuha natin unit of a vector. Okay? So, let us now find the value of the magnitude of this unit vector. So, that is equals to the square root of. Diba? So, ang value mo ng A1 mo will be this. So, meron kang 3 multiply the square root of 22 over 22. Yan. Then, this is raised to 2 plus ang value mo naman ng A2 mo which is the square root of 22 and this is raised to 2. Diba? From the original given natin, ito. Uh, I mean from the original formula, which is this one, the magnitude. So, hanapin mo dapat ang result niya is maging 1. Yan. So, we have here plus the square of negative, ano, negative ang value nito, 3 square root of 22 over 22. And this is raised to 2. Yan. So, check natin kung mag 1 nga siya. So, gamit tayo ng calculator. 
So, this is equivalent to ating calculator. So, this is set up natin sa normal natin. So, 3. Sorry for this. Nakastap kanina ko sa ano, calculator. Mode, mode 1. Yeah. So, tingnan natin. What is the value of this unang numerical term? So, this is equals to 3. Okay. So, multiply natin. So, 3 multiply this by the square root of 22. So, square root of 22. Yan. Yan. Tama ba? So, that is equals to then divide this by 22. Okay? Then raise mo sa 2. Raise to 2. Equals. Dali natin sa SD. So, 9 over 22. So, this is equivalent to 9. 9 over 22. Plus. Kapit ulit natin. So, this is equals to ating pangalawang term. So, the square root of 22. Again, 22. So, this is divided by 11. And take your answer is square root mo equals 2. Then that is 2 over 11. Then this is plus. O, itong value nitong first term mo, the same as the value ng last term mo. So 9 over 22. So this is the square root. Simplify mo na lang. So meron kang LCD na 22. Tama? So meron kang 22 na LCD. 22 divided by 22 times 1 is simply 9. 22 divided by 11 times 2 will be equal to 2 times 2. Tama? Plus, 22 divided by 22, 1 times 9 is 9. So, this is equals to, may 4 ka sa gitna, so meron kang 22 over 22. And this is, take the square root, take the square root, this is equals to 1. So, therefore, Tama yung nakuha natin unit vector. So, this is the answer. Ito yung ating sagot. This one. Okay? So, ito, chinect lang natin kung tama yung ating nakuha ng value ng unit of a vector. So, since we got the magnitude of 1, tama yung uh, sagot natin. Yun na yung ating unit, of, uh, unit vector of this given vector PAX plus 2AY minus 3AZ. Okay, so solve na tayo sa example number 1. Let us proceed dun sa ating example number 2. Example number 2. Sino like ko na rito? Ayan. Ito yung ating example number 2. We have here given vector A. So, ang value ng ating vector A is equal to 2AX minus 2AY plus 4AZ. Then, meron tayong vector V, vector C, at hahanapin natin yung ito. We have A, B, and C. So, we need to determine the value of A plus 2B minus C and the magnitude of the vector A. And the last one is the magnitude of this operation, 2A minus 3B plus C. So, essentially natin, we have three unknowns here that we need to solve. So, let us first yung A. Unahin natin yung A muna. Give, given naman yung tatlong uh, vectors represent by vector A, vector B, B, and vector C. So, hanapin natin yung letter A muna. So, A muna tayo. Let us solve A. So, what is A plus 2B minus C? Oh, direct ako na. What is A? A is equal to 2 AX minus 3ay plus 4az okay nagyan natin ng separator plus 2 diba? 2 multiplied by b 2 what is our vector b we have 5ax minus 2ay okay. we have 2ay plus 
3 AZ. Okay? Then, yung last term, minus C. So, this is subtracted by C. What is C? So, alagyan mo na ang separator pa rin para hindi ka malito sa, sa sign. So, negative 3 AX plus 5 AY plus 4 AZ. Yan. Ito na yung ating uh, problem number 1 or simply yung A natin. So, ito yung ating hinahanap na problem according to sa ating given na vector A, B, and C. So, let us simplify. In a way, the solution of this uh, dito sa problem number 2 or example number 2 is this is same as uh, addition or subtraction ng polynomial dun sa ating algebra. We just need to uh, add yung ating mga numerical values dito. Okay? Just, just the same as yung simplification ng ating sa algebra. So, let us distribute first yung multiplier. Distribute natin yung 2 dito sa ating given na rectangular components ng vectors natin. So, we have here Copy first yung unang term, A2, AX1, minus ito muna, i-copy muna kasi wala ka naman dito ang ibang gagalawin muna. So, we have 3AY plus 4AZ. Then plus, o, distribute mo yung 2 dun sa parenthesis. So, we have 10 AX. Tama? Then 2 times negative 2, that is negative 4AY. 2 times 3, that is 6AZ. Then, distribute mo lang yung negative sign dito sa loob. We have positive 3A X Then negative 5AY Then last term is negative 4AZ Then to the simplification. So this is the unknown under yung problem number of letter A. So simplify. So lahat ng similar term, i-add mo siya. Okay? So we have AX here, 2AX, plus 10AX, so meron ka ng 12AX, then meron kang thir uh, 3. So meron kang 2 plus 10 plus 3, that is 15AX. So meron ka ng 15AX here. Okay, tapos na tayo sa ating AX. Punta tayo sa AY. So A negative 3, negative 4, meron kang negative 7, then negative 5. So, negative 7 minus, that is negative 12. Okay, meron tayong negative 12 AY. Okay? So, the last term under yung Z natin. So, we have here 4 plus 6, that is 10 minus 4, that is 6. So, this is positive 6 AZ. So, this is the answer under yung uh, letter A natin. Ito yung ating sagot natin. Hopefully, nakakasunod kayo dito sa aking solution. So, ito na yung ating sagot. Okay? Solve na tayo sa letter A. So, this is under letter, letter A. Solve na tayo. Okay? So, next one is letter B. Letter B is just determine the magnitude of your vector A. So, vector A tayo. Ano ba yung formula natin? This, that is the square root of the uh, value of your a1, a2, and a3 doon sa vector mo. So, meron kang a1 is 2, a2 is negative 3, a3 is positive 4. So, 2, negative 3, and 4. So, anak, isulat mo na natin yung ating formula. So, this is the square root of okay? square root of a1 squared plus a2 squared plus a3 square. Then, find the value of A dun sa ating given. Okay? So, A1. A1 is equals to. Wala yung A1 natin. 2, di ba? Uh, meron tayong 2, negative 3, and 4. So, isulay ko na direct na dito. So, we have 2. Then, yung A2 mo is negative 3. Then, yung A3 mo is 4. Okay? Hopefully, madaling solution itong ano, na kukuha natin. So, this is now equal. So, I mean, madali yung solution. Madali lang itong solution na 
ano ginagawa dito sa uh, vector analysis so ipalit mo na dito sa ating ano sa ating formula so the square root of yeah, the square root of a1 which is equal to 2 plus a2 which is equal to negative 3 then plus a3 squared which is equal to 4 so this is square yeah. So let us now simplify. Dito ko na isolve. So, ba? so this is equals to the square root of this is 4, this is 9, and this is 16. So meron tayo dito equivalent sa 29. So this is equivalent to the square root of 20. Tama? This is 20 and plus 9 that is 29. So ito yung sagot natin dun sa ating letter B. Okay? Nakuha natin yung letter B natin. So, this is under letter B. Which is the magnitude of the vector A. So, alam tayo sa B. So, isa na lang. So, okay na tayo sa, sa letter A. Okay na tayo sa letter B. Let us solve letter C. So, meron tayong the magnitude of this operation under these vectors. 2A minus 3B plus C. So, i-copy ko na ito sa baba. I think I already copied this given. Oh, so we have here the magnitude of 2a minus 3b plus c and this is the given vectors natin para hindi na ako bumalik dun sa taas. So let us now solve this vector, so I mean magnitude. So this is equal to, direct ako nang isolve dito sa ating uh, letter c. So the magnitude, yan, 2a, so 2 multiplied by a. What is a? We have 2ax minus 3ay plus 4az. Tama? Then minus, this is minus 3 multiplied by the vector b. Letter b natin is equal to 5ax minus 2ay plus 3 a, Z. Yan. Then plus the vector C. So, just copy 3A, ito yun, 3AX plus 5AY then plus 4AZ. Okay, mo na open and close parenthesis. Then, put the two, uh, sa both ends, lagay mo ng two vertical lines to indicate that the unknown here is the magnitude of this given operation of the vectors. Okay? So, simplify natin yung nasa loob nito. So, we have here 2 times 2. So, ang sagot dito, ito ang sa ba? So, we have 4ax. Then, this is minus 6ay. This is plus 8az. Yan. Distribute yung negative p dito sa loob ng parabases. So, we have 15 ax. We have negative times negative. Meron tayong positive sign. 6 ay. Then, negative, negative 3 times positive 3 is negative 9 az. Then, just copy yung nasa loob ng ating parabases. So, negative 3 ax. Copy. Negative 3 ax plus 5ay, then plus 4az. Then put the symbol to determine that is the magnitude. So simplify mo na. So combine mo na yung mga similar terms. So meron kang 4ax, then meron kang negative 15ax, negative 9, ah sorry. We have negative 3. So meron kang negative 9, tama? Negative 9 minus 3, meron kang negative, uh, ano ba? Negative 11. So, we have here, now the value of our magnitude, tama ba? Ulitin ko lang. So, this is, uh, negative 11 pala dito. So, negative 11 minus 3, that is negative 14, sorry. So, this is negative 14 ax. This one is equivalent to negative 6a plus 6a will be 0. 
6ay, 0 din plus 5ay. So, meron kang 5 plus ay. Plus 5ay. Okay? Okay na tayo sa x and y. Last one is yung z natin. So, 8 minus 9, that is negative 1. Plus 4, that is positive 3. So, this is plus 3. Plus 3, sorry. Plus 3, AZ. Yan. This is magnitude. Okay? So, hanapin mo yung magnitude nito. So, ano ba yung magnitude niya? Di ba? Magnitude, ang formula natin dyan is the square root. Di ba? The square root of, ito yung ating assign ko. This one is our A1. This is our A2. A2. And this is our A3. Diba? So, A1 is negative 14. A2 is positive 5. A3 is positive 3. So, that is the, the squared of A1 or negative 14 squared plus the squared of A2 which is equal to 5. Then plus the squared of 3. And this is equals to the square root of. So, 14 times 14, that is equals to ilan. So, calculate tayo. 14 squared mo na. So, this is equals to 196. Positive na. Kasi negative raised to, uh, raised to 2 is positive, 196. So, this is plus, sorry, this is squared. Sorry for this. Nakopya ko pala yung value ng A2 sa A3. So, this is squared. This is squared. Sorry for that. So, plus. This is 25. And this is plus 9. So, this is equivalent to 25. That is 34. Tama ba? And what I think is, that is 230. 230. So, this is equivalent to 200. Square root of 230. That is the answer of our letter C which is B magnitude of this operation 2A minus 2B plus C right? O pre nakakasunod lahat dito sa ating uh, example number 1 right? So solve na tayo uh, Some review natin review natin sa letter A natin ang problem A plus 2B minus C ang sagot natin is 15AX minus 12AY plus 6 a z, okay? Letter B is the magnitude of the vector A, which is this vector A. So, kunin mo lang yung square root ng bawat uh, numerical coefficient ng AX, AY, tapos yung AZ mo. That is your A1, A2, and A3. So, ang nakuha naman natin sagot dito is the square root of 29. Okay? Square root of 29. Ito. Square root of 29. So, yun. So, Letter C naman, yung last solution natin kanina. So, we have the magnitude of these uh, vectors. So, nasolve natin. Ang equivalent naman yan is square root of 230. Okay? Pagpuli, nakakasunod kayo rito. So, let us proceed dun sa last example under the components of a vector. So, let us now continue. Example number 3 na tayo. So, if a given vectors A, B, and C, and D, find the scalars A, B, and C such that D is equal to A and small letter A, yung scalar mo. Vector A multiplied by the scalar A plus vector B multiplied by the scalar B plus vector C multiplied by the scalar C. So, meron tayong condition na kailangan satisfy. Given naman yung vector D, A, B, and C dito sa ating uh, example number 3. So, let us do the direct substitution since lahat naman dito is given. So, ang anong dito is A, B, and C. So, but the vectors itself, yung A, B, C, and D na vectors given naman siya. So, we just use yung substitution according dun sa ating solution kagaya nung kanina. So, let us proceed. What is the value of D? Ito yung hinahanap natin. Di ba? May condition. Such, such, such that D is equals to this uh, vectors and scalars. Okay? 
So, ito na yun. Sinsulay ko rito. So, what is the value of B? B here is equivalent to this. 3AX minus AY minus 2AZ. Sinsulay ko dito. So, D now is equal to 3AX minus AY. Ayan. Minus 2AZ. And this is equivalent to A. What is your A? A here is equivalent to 3. AX minus 2AY plus 3AZ. This is the vector A. And this is multiplied by the scalar A. Oh, dito ko na sa unahin yung scalar natin. Okay? Para sa naman. Sa uli ko na sa unahin, same lang. So dito ko na, I prefer put uh, the front of the given vector. So plus, anong sunod natin dito? Is the vector, multiply mo na ng scalar, and ang scalar mo B, multiply by the given vector, vector B. So we have negative AX plus 2AY, okay, ito yun, plus 5AZ, plus 5AZ. Then plus, yung ating last term, which is equivalent to plus, yung ating scalar C, multiply the vector C. So, C natin is 3AX plus 2AY plus 2AZ. So, do the simple simplification for this. Distribute mo yung A, B, and C dun sa loob ng parenthesis. So, we have here, copy mo na yung nasa left side ng equation natin. So, 3AX minus AY minus 2AZ. And simplify this. So, meron tayong 3A na, no? Distribute mo na. So, we have 3 multiplied by A. Separate natin to. And yung ating uh, rectangular, rectangular unit vector ng along x-axis. Minus, we have 2 multiplied by A. So, meron kang 2A dito. Multiplied by AY. Then, plus 3 multiplied by A then. So, 3A. Then, AZ. So, sometimes sa first term natin, oh, I mean, dun sa first vector, multiply by scalar A. So, plus, scalar B multiply by the vector B naman. So, meron tayong negative. O, B. O, negative na sa ano? Negative. We have negative. O, tanggalin ko na to. Distribute ko na yung negative. Sa'yo pa hindi mas nakakalito. So, this is negative times positive will be negative. B. Okay? B. Multiply by AX. Sorry. So this is uh, opening close parenthesis and multiplied by AX. Then plus, okay, we have 2B multiplied by AY. And the last term, this is our uh, vector B. So this is multiplied by AY. And this is plus 5 multiplied by B and this is multiplied by A Z. So I will, I will remove the parenthesis here para naka uniform tayo. So meron tayong A Z. Okay? Then the last part, this is plus, distribute mo yung C sa loob. Meron kayong 3 C multiplied by A X. Tama? Then plus 2 C. 2 times C. Multiplied by AY, then plus 2C again. I mean, this A, yeah, 2C, and multiply this by, equivalent is AZ. So, yan. Distribute natin yung ating scalar sa lahat ng vector. So, do the simplification. So, lahat ng magkaka-similar term, i-combine natin. So, check ko isa-isa. So, meron tayong AX dito. We have AX1. AX pa rito. Yan ang, com yan ang magiging common term natin dun sa AX. We factor out mo na yung AX. Ano? So, we have here, sulat mo ulit yung nasa right side. Meron tayong 3AX minus AY. This is minus 2AZ. And this is all equals to oh, lahat ng AX. We factor out mo na yung AX, AX mo. So, if we have the term AX here, ilabas ko yung AX. We have AX. So, matitira dito sa loob will be 3A. 
tama. Pa, then minus B naman, minus B. Yan. Yung third term naman is plus 3C. Tama? I just factor out yung AX. So, combine mo yung similar term. So, if you are going to combine similar term, magkakaroon ka ng operation 3A minus B plus 3C. Lahat yung multiplied sa AX. Kaya, if factor out ko na yung AX natin. Okay? Hopefully, nakakasunod lahat. Sunod. Yung ating plus. Plus yung Y naman. So, Lagay ko na ito sa baba para isahan lang yung ating arrangement. So, AY naman. So, plus AY naman. So, I will highlight in blue. So, AY, meron kang negative 2A. Meron kang neg a positive 2B. And meron kang positive 2C. So, isulat ko na yun. So, negative 2A. Tama? Then, positive 2B. Then, the last term is plus 2C. And factor out again, since lahat niyan may common term na AY. AY and AY. So, plus. Okay? Same solution. So, factor out mo yung common term ng AZ naman. AZ. Ayan. So, AZ. So, we have here 3A. So, we have 3A here. So, 3A. Then, 5B. Plus 5B. Then the last one is 2C. Plus 2C. Yan. So meron tayong uh, dalawang equation. We have on the left side, then the right side. How to solve for the value A, B, and C. And you can proceed here yung properties or yung ating rules ng equation. E uh, equation or the equality. So meron tayong, pwede ba na paghiwayawala yan ano? So, rules ng ating equality. So, we have here 3 AX. Lahat ng AX dito. Isulat ko na, ano? So, we have 3 AX. 3 AX. Yan. This is equivalent to, ano yung katumbas ng 3 AX? Yung A. O, kunin mo lang yung may AX dito. I mean, yung AX. AX, AX. So, this is equivalent to 3 A minus B plus 3C. And this is multiplied by AX. We have equation number 1. Okay? Equation number 1 natin, pwede natin cancel out yung AX. AX, AX. So, equation number 1 natin, we have simplified. I arrange ko na. Yung 3, ilipat ko na sa right side. Yung equation natin, which is mer meron tayong uh, polynomial, ilipat ko na dun sa uh, right side. So, we have here 3A minus B plus 3C and this is equal to B. And this is our equation number 1. So, tanggalin ko na ito para hindi tayo makakalito. Siniflipay ko lang. Ano? Dun sa ating rules ng equality ng equation. So, AY naman. So, meron kang negative AY, negative AY dun sa left side mo. ba Negative AY. Ano ba yung katumbas na may AY naman dito? Yung kanina, yung katumbas ng nasa left side mong may, may AX, yun yung itong equation na to. Kunin mo yung may AX na term, that is equal to yung AX naman dun sa left side. Same, same thing ang gawin mo dito sa ating AY tapos AZ. Yung equivalent ng AZ na nasa right side, kunin mo which is this one. Equivalent naman ng AZ, I mean AY kanina, ito yung AY. Yung AZ naman, ito naman nasa right side. So, hopefully nakakasunod kayo dito sa, sa simplification na ginagamit natin ngayon. So, we have here, we have here negative. Nasa AY na tayo. Yung negative AY. That is equals to, yung may AY naman, itong term na to. Okay? We have negative. 2A plus 2B plus 2C. And this is all multiplied by AY. O, simplify mo na. Tanggalin mo na yung AY. Diba? AY divided by AY is simply 1. So, may matitira ka dito negative 1. Diba? Negative 1 ang sagot. So, just uh, do the arrangement ng equation. Lagay mo na sa left side. Ito naman lang sa left side. O, just put the uh, simple uh, transposition. So, so negative. Huwag nang palitan yung lahat ng side. Para sa lang naman yung mag-aing equation. Plus 2B plus 2C. 
and this is equals to negative 1. So we have here equation number 2. Okay? And equation number 2. And last one, o, yung Q ba din naman ng AZ mo? AZ. O dito kaya sa right side to i-solve para nakikita natin yung equation na pagpukuhan na natin. So negative 2AZ. And this is equivalent to 3, this equation naman, na may term na AZ. So meron tayong 3A plus 5B plus 2C and this is multiplied by AZ. Then you can cancel out already dito sa ating AZ. So matitira dito is equal to 3A plus 5B plus 2C. And this equals negative 2. And meron na tayong equation number so number 3. Meron tayong equation number 3. So, meron tayong three equation. We have three unknown. You can solve the value of A, B, and C. So, solve mo dito using, ayan. So, solve for the value of A, diba, meron tayong may A, B, and C. We have three unknown, three equation. Meron ka ng equation 1, equation 2, and equation number 3. So, masolve mo yung A, B, and C. A, B, and C using, since ang topic natin dito is ang ating subject is natapos na tayo dun sa uh, ano ba yung previous natin topic? You can use that one is yung uh, Kramer's rule. So using yung Kramer's rule, using Kramer's rule, okay? Kramer's rule or or may isa pa yung ating inverse of a matrix. Yan. Inverse of a matrix in solving for the system of linear equation. But you can use this two solutions. Pili kayo kung maling mas convenient sa inyo. It's either use Kramer's rule or yung inverse of a matrix to solve for the system of linear equation. Because itong equation number 1, equation number 2, and equation number 3, we can solve already under the system of linear equation by the Kramer's rule or by inverse of a matrix. So, ang sagot nito, tingnan natin ano. Ang sagot nito, so, A, A is equals to 1 fourth. B is equals to negative 3 fourth. Yeah. Ito ang dapat nating makuha in using yung ating solution. Since you have already, you know already, you can solve your own dito sa ating last part which is 3 equation 3 unknown use this to use this to solution okay wag niyo gagamitin yung uh, by substitution or by elimination because that is under the fundamentals of engineering mathematics which is not i will not advise that one to use i advise to use yung kramer's rule or inverse of the matrix and determining the value of a b and c since we have already, we, we have also three equation and also three unknown. So, kailangan makuha mong value dito is A is equals to 1 fourth, B is equals to negative 3 fourth, and C is equals to 1 half. So, to check, gamit ka ng calculator. So, to check, yan. Sa pag-check, I allow. To check, you can use, to check, you can use your calculator. Yan, calculator. So, paano ba natin masolve to? Tingnan natin. So, I have here. So, tingnan natin anong magiging value ng x, y, and z. I mean, ng a, b, c. So, equation number 1, 3. So, gamitin ko na yung uh, linear equation dito sa ating calculator. So, into e, I will just enter yung value ng lahat ng numerical coefficient ng a, b, and c. Equation number 1 is 3. Okay? Tama ba? Oh, sorry. So, kailangan kong equation 5 and under 2. Yan. So, dito, equation number 1 is 3. Yung A and negative 1, yung B. Sorry. Dito ko lang. Enter muna pala. So, the second one is negative 1. Ito, check ko na lang naman ano. 
but you can use yung Kramer's rule tapos yung inverse rule matrix. In solving, manually, yung value ng A, B, and C kasi yun yung unknown. Okay? So, the numeric coefficient of C is 3. The constant is 3. So, solve na tayo sa equation number 1. Equation number 2, negative 2. We have negative 2. And positive 2. Then positive 2 again. Then yung uh, constant is negative 1. Okay. Then last equation is 3. Yung coefficient ng A. Coefficient ng B is 5. Coefficient ng C is 2. And constant is negative 2. Equals. Sinin na natin. Ano, ano yung magsagot dito? What is the value? 1 fourth. Sorry. 1 fourth. 1.25 or 1 fourth. Yan. Diba? 1 fourth. Asan yung ating... Ito. Dapat 1 fourth, 3 fourth, and 1 half. So, meron ka ng 1 fourth dun sa value ng A. Next. Meron ang negative 3 fourth dun sa value ng uh, B. Dapat 1 half yung C natin. Equals 1 half. Okay? So, 1 half is 0.5. Yun yung ating mga sagot. Hopefully, nakakasunod kayo. 3 fourth naman is 0.75 negative. Yung 1 fourth naman is 0.25. So, it's either you uh, use yung fraction or yung decimal. This is 0.25, negative 0.75 is this is 0.5. Or simply 1 fourth, negative 3 fourth, and 1 half. That is the value of scalar A, B, and C. Yun yung hinahanap ko sa so, uh, problem number 3. The value of the scalar A, B, and C. So, ganun lang ano. Just do the simplification or just uh, the multiplication, the basic, yung distributed law. Then, simple ad uh, addition and subtraction of the polynomial. So, this ating uh, matrix, I mean, sorry, ng vectors or ng ating components. Then, proceed do sa rules of equality ng equation. So, equate mo lang yung A, AX dito sa left side, that is equivalent dun sa A, uh, AX naman na sa right side. Same as AY, left side, AY dun sa right side. Equality, ano? Equate mo lang yung dalawang equation with the same uh, term, which is yung AX, AY, and AZ. Then proceed dun sa cancellation ng, uh, ng mga components mo, which is yung AX, AY, and AZ, matitirhan ka ng value in terms of your scalar A, B, and C. Then, use yung Kramer's rule or inversible matrix in solving for the value of A, B, and C. Since we have uh, three equations, three unknown, uh, you can use these two uh, simple simplification or solution, Kramer's and inversible matrix. Okay? So, dito, ginamitan ko lang ng calculator to check. Okay? So, check calculator, tama naman siya, that the value of A is 1 fourth, B is 3 fourth, and C is 1 half. Okay? So, itong Kramer's Rule in Inversible Matrix, ito yung kakatapos lang nating topic. So, yung previous videos about dito sa Kramer's Rule in Inversible Matrix, you can watch for you to learn how to solve for the A, B, and C. Okay? Next topic natin dito is yung ating dot product. Okay? Susunod ko yung dot product. Busin na natin yung topic under yung vector analysis para sunod na topic na naman tayo. After the red product, yung pinakalast na topic dito sa vector analysis is the cross product. Medyo mahaba-haba pa. But, kaya naman. Okay? Salamat sa pakikinig dito sa part na to. I will uh, solve now, uh, discuss now yung that product dito sa vector analysis.